here's how it goes. It's going to be the rapture of the church. That's an unsigned event. In other words, there's no sign preliminary to that event. It's going to be suddenly in a moment in the twinkling of an eye, snatching out the church. Then there's going to be a period of seven years of tribulation. Um, Daniel refers to that period, and that period is laid out in the book of Revelation repeatedly. Even the numbers are laid out. Um, the events are laid out from Revelation 6 through 19. I went all through that, and I said that's going to be followed by the return of Jesus Christ to establish his thousand-year kingdom. And it, I think it uses the word thousand in Revelation 20 about six times, so it's not obscure. And at the end of the thousand years, Satan has a rebellion. Satan's rebellion is, is basically ended. And then the entire universe as we know it uh, literally implodes in an atomic implosion and the Lord creates a new heaven and a new earth. And I, I unpacked that one whole day. Mm. And at the end of the day, the leaders came to me. That no schools, no training. There are no Bible schools in the former Soviet Union. They have no training. And the leaders came to me and said, we believe what you believe. would have to go to school to get that wrong hmm. it's crystal clear you have the church on earth in revelation one to three all of a sudden the church is in heaven in revelation four and five which indicates the rapture tribulation breaks out in revelation six runs to 19 in 19 christ comes establishes his kingdom the kingdom runs for a thousand years then the new heaven and the new earth at the end of the book of revelation that is the simplest that is the simplest book in the New Testament if you're looking for a chronological outline. Hmm. So you you got to somebody's got to tell you it's not true just like Genesis. Yeah. You have to say oh no 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 and the evolution happened in Genesis and oh no no it can't be that simple. It can't be chronological like the book of Revelation. And yet the book of Revelation starts by saying this. Blessed is the one who reads and understands this book. Yes. I'm not that smart. I just took the book and here are these guys who never had any formal training. All they had was a Bible. And they could they see that. It. 